Hey, what's up guys? It's Moonvi here, and today I'm going to be playing some Modern Warfare 2. For today's video, I'm going to be using the F-Tac Siege. I currently have this to level 9 out of 26, and these are my attachments I have on it currently. Today, I am planning to do some more camo grinding, so thankfully, I already have the first base camo challenge done. I am currently working on the second one, which is to get 15 kills while ADS. I already have 6 out of 15 for that. And then after that, I have to level this gun up some more and then get 30 kills with a suppressor. And then the last base camo challenge for this gun is to get 20 hit fire kills and then we have our gold challenge so honestly getting those base camo challenges won't be so bad especially since shipments in the game so i'm gonna go ahead and head into some shipment and get these challenges done also if you guys are wondering how to get the f-tac siege you basically have to get 40 hit fire kills with any pistol the best thing to do is just get akimbo pistols and then get it that way also it looks like we got a mid mesh of domination <laughs> there's absolutely no recoil to this gun by the way that's the nice thing about this so I think that guy saw my laser, and he failed to get me. Oh my gosh. I don't know what any of that was, but you know, that's okay. They keep throwing fart grenades, and I cannot move around the map. This is so annoying. Oh my gosh. I'm literally immobile right now. I cannot move. Bruh. And then I get blown up. Okay. We're gonna find a new match. I might probably do one more game of shipment, but honestly, I'm really not feeling it right now, Mr. Crab, so I might switch up the game modes today. Hopefully it's not an utter disaster like that last lobby because that was just terrible. I could not move around. There was nothing but fart grenades, there was nothing but stun grenades, there was nothing but shotguns, and there was nothing but launchers. Yeah, I don't know what I'm expecting, especially since the shipment. Am I the only other teammate this dude has? Oh, looks like everyone else is finally spawning in, but we only have three teammates. Oh my gosh, can you jump anymore? <laughs> I still got them, okay. All that just to die. Twice. Did I unlock something? Oh, I got one of the camo challenges done. Nice. I don't know what it is about shipment, but I think since the game mode has been here for three weeks, it has progressively gotten worse. And so, I don't know about you guys, but I've been having like the worst time on shipment. It honestly makes the other maps look more appealing. Like, I don't know. I don't like the play styles I'm seeing on here. It's really annoying. I think the excessive spam of the brecci has been annoying as well. I don't think I'm going to be having a good time on this match either, unfortunately. I don't know. Too much weirdness in here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and ditch this one too. I did end up unlocking Velvet Midnight in that last match. So now I basically just got to level this gun up to level 17. And then I get to unlock the clown camo. This literally looks like a clown camo. Ooh, we got grind on the new map. I wonder how this will be. I'm also curious to see how this gun will do in a longer range setting. Because I mostly have only used it in shipment. This feels so quiet and like <laughs> non-existent Ooh, let's see hey pretty good in long range i got a headshot all i had to use 30 bullets for that so i don't know if that's actually good or not Ooh, i leveled my gun up it's so interesting because i feel like some of these people are playing like bots and then some of these people are playing like actual players give me my tags back you fool Yay, I deposited them. Even though I died there, it's okay. I deposited like eight, six, I don't know. This is surprisingly not a bad match. It's just kind of slow. I wonder what would increase the pace of this map. I just feel like it's really big. Like I do like it, but it's just a really large map, which is what I don't necessarily like about this game. Like ideally we would get smaller maps and stuff and that would be more enjoyable. I don't know if I had mentioned this, but I feel like this game would benefit from like dynamic weather settings, especially since most of the maps are like so bland and gray. Imagine if this was like a cloud cloudy sunny day versus like about to rain kind of weather and even then like how cool would it be if it was raining i don't know i think dynamic weather is an interesting concept if done correctly i feel like i haven't seen anyone oh speaking of someone I have found someone. That was a very slow game. So after that match, I managed to get two levels on the F-Tac Siege. I know it's very impressive, but uh, with that being said, I didn't actually get any new attachments as far as I can tell. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is the new camo for the event curling going on. It's kind of like the old Damascus, but like less shiny and flashy, I suppose. I'm using it for now just because it's a brand new camo, but I might change it up later. Also, since that last match was 
was honestly really boring. I'm gonna go ahead and play some more shipment. Hopefully I don't rage quit this time. So we ended up getting some grind. This should be fun. Also, howdy cowboy. The nice thing about shipment though is I can spam my decoys and that'll help me get some more XP. I got both those guys? Really? Oh, so apparently today they actually ended up leaking that Modern Warfare 3 will be the next COD game that comes out next year. I think that's really interesting considering that I haven't played Modern Warfare 3 personally, but I would love to play it, especially if it's next year's game. I know it's not going to be anything like the original, but it is an interesting idea nonetheless. And Sledgehammer Games is the one that's going to be developing it. Although I think a lot of people are upset just because, you know, Vanguard was made by Sledgehammer and that was an absolute fail and a lot of people eyes so I think that's why a lot of people have their doubts per se and they don't necessarily want to see whoa <laughs> they don't necessarily want to see another sledgehammer game which I mean everyone's welcome to their criticism and stuff oh my gosh I don't know why I went towards them but you know I do think it's worth giving it a chance. I just feel like I don't know if I have the highest hope. Like, I'm not super optimistic about it. I'm excited, but I'm probably not going to have the most enthusiasm, especially since I don't know MW3 all that well. I'm just going to go with the flow with it, essentially. Like, I'm not going to hope for his downfall i think that's just mean but i am looking forward to it i don't know what it is but i feel like i'm doing so bad this round i'm just like suffering <laughs> i don't know shipment has been like so unfun to me i don't know what's going on just like the amount of shotgun spam the amount of camping has increased by tenfold so many people lay down and use the turtle too it's just getting so annoying like i'm fed up with it like if you're not playing a certain way i feel like it's just gonna be so bad oh my gosh we lost but back to what i was talking about basically we're gonna go ahead and have outbreak 2.0 i'm really looking forward to it just because outbreak was super goofy and it had a lot of broken moments like there was so many times i would fall underneath the map there's also another Another instance where I was in a jeep and I just magically flung outside of the map and then I died. I don't know. Basically, Outbreak was a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to it. Also, if I didn't make myself clear enough earlier, what I was saying was I'm really looking forward to Modern Warfare having a staple of a zombie mode as well. Especially since zombies is a lot of fun and it's also really laid back when it comes to playing a game mode in here. Also, aside from Outbreak coming back, we are also getting a follow up from the story for campaigns. So That'll be really interesting especially since they had set up this year's campaign for basically the next modern warfare game so that makes sense Ooh. huh what was that guy doing oh my god why do bodies fly in there like every time you go through a crate and you kill someone they would just end up flying the shotguns you can play the game just fine right but as soon as the shotguns come out i think that's when it starts to fall apart for me huh? there's like some weird lag in my game right now but hey we got this to level 17 so now i can do my suppressor kills also even though they had shotguns in here it's actually not that bad like i'm able to stop them thankfully most of the times when i have to go up against a shotgun i become a skill issue and i genuinely cannot deal with it i'm also feeling like i got a hang of this pistol now i feel like it took me a bit but i kind of understand how you use it i keep forgetting to switch my gun that's kind of why i wish they had like a perk where you can have your sidearm as your primary instead of the primary always having to be your primary. That was an issue that I feel like I've had even when I was going for a Ryan on this game. Oh my god. You know what I really want to see come back instead of just regular shipment? I want like hardcore shipment to come back. I feel like that's been a hot minute. Oh, we lost. Hey, but it's not by that much in comparison to when we first started this match. I had the most objective time on our team and I actually did pretty well, so I'm happy about that match. So after that match, I got 20 out of 30 suppressor kills, which isn't too bad. And then after that, I need 20 hipfire kills, but first I gotta level this up some more. I'm hoping 10v10 is better. I don't know if that will be the case. Ew, long shots with this. What? What? <laughs> Oh 
<laughs> okay then. I couldn't tell if that guy was mag dumping his body or if he was like genuinely thinking someone was there and trying to shoot them. You know, and I think that's what's so funny about 10v10 is because there's like not that much skill based matchmaking in it. So you get like the most goofiest players. Also, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a hot minute since I've actually played this map and it feels so strange. I just think it's really weird to come back to regular maps after playing Shipment for so long. So it's kind of refreshing to go back to these maps and play. I think the only downside is you don't necessarily get XP as fast when you're trying to, you know, camo grind these guns. That's my only gripe is that it takes forever to level things up. But other than that, it's like, it's really not that bad. Oh, by the way, they had actually animated this event camo. You can see they have petals on it now. It's a little neat detail. It's nothing crazy, but... I thought it was pretty cool of them to animate it. Well, we lost. I mean, honestly, I don't care because this map is not fun, but that's okay. I am going to be playing some more shipment for the next match, and I think I'll use a double weapon XP to level this up faster. I know I probably should have done that from the start, but honestly, I was thinking like maybe it'll level up kind of fast. That was clearly not the case. I'm gonna go ahead and use another 15 minute double weapon XP and hopefully we can get this leveled up all the way or if not a lot. <laughs> so earlier today I was playing some I think domination shipment and that game was straight up 15 minutes because it ended up using my 15 minute double token XP when I was trying to level this up. It was so bad too because that match was forever like it was taking forever to finish that's what I'm trying to say. Also you know even though I do have double weapon XP I already have this to level 20. Is that a rabbit skin? It is. But yeah earlier when I was trying to level this up I was basically wasting a whole double weapon XP because the match took way too long. But you know what even though I'm failing miserably in this lobby I am getting so much XP from my decoy grenade, so thankfully that's the case. They've been setting up camp over here and it's really irritating to deal with. Maybe it's just me, but something about camo grinding for this pistol has been so incredibly unsatisfying. As for like the other guns, they were actually really fun, but this just feels so brutal. I've been doing a lot more jump shotting just because I feel like that's the only way to counter them. And it's kind of working, like I'm not gonna lie, because like so far this match has been so brutal and unenjoyable, like the last several shipment games I've had. But the only reason I'm playing shipment is to basically level this gun up and I feel like I'm just not getting the opportunity to level this up as much. I believe my double weapon XP is also over. I don't know for sure. So I do have five more minutes remaining on my double weapon XP and I do have my gun currently at level 22. So I am hoping that I can get this leveled up more in the next match which means that last match took roughly 10 minutes and I feel like I didn't really level it up all that much. I did end up removing the suppressor since I finished my suppressor or kill challenge but I forgot to take it off like several games ago oh my god spring and pray I think I need one more level on my gun and then I have it to the rank it needs to be or rather level it needs to be so that I can do my hipfire kills and get progression for those ones. Currently it's at level 25 out of 26 so I'm just kind of working my way up to it. Not gonna lie though I feel like I've had bad luck all day in terms of like my matches not being all that fun. I just feel like I've been struggling and like having the worst time. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes matchmaking's on your side and sometimes it's not. I just feel like today I just had the bad luck on my side. Okay, so I can go for hit fire kills now. Punch you. <laughs> okay, so I gotta do hit fire kills. I was bringing down a cluster mine, but we did get a, a hit fire kill right now. I'm honestly not too worried about getting hit fire kills with this gun just because it's super accurate. It's pretty easy to get hit fires with this. Oops, I aimed it on the second one. That's not what I meant to do. Oh my god, I got two headshot hit fires. That's crazy. I got the hip fire kills done, nice. All I have left is to get the gold cabo challenge done and then we will have this all the way to gold today. It's just been like a constant fight for B. It's honestly really nice, but it's also just kind of annoying at the same time. But oh well, the game has ended nonetheless. It wasn't a terrible game, 
I'm surprised I dropped 87 kills. It didn't feel like I dropped 87 kills. I feel like I was struggling most of that match. So honestly, that is very shocking. But yeah, I did get this to level 26. I did finish all the base camo challenges in that match. And we also got one three kills with that dying kill streak in that match. And I'm gonna go ahead and search for some hard point. Hopefully we get some good maps. I've been really wanting to play hotel recently. So I'm hoping we get that. Ooh, we got hotel. This is exactly what I wanted to play. I'm so happy we got Hotel. Oh, it's a mid-match, but that's okay. I really wanted to play this. I genuinely miss playing this map. That's crazy. I really like this map too, especially during the beta. This was really fun to play. So it's really nice to play this again. There's two kills. I need one more. Okay, never mind. Can't get one more because he's camping. I think what's crazy about this is that this is 10v10, but it's like very slow. There's more players on this map than usual, and it feels like there's barely anyone. <sighs> it's because of that. They're just camping, watching down the sights. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go to regular GDM. <laughs> okay, so I did end up queuing up for the new map just because I do like this map. I actually prefer this map over regular matchmaking because I don't know. I feel like it's more chill. Why was that guy laying down there? <laughs> There's two. And three. <laughs> I used that poor man against him. He wanted to get me so badly. Honestly, there is no rush to get those three kills without dying. At least to me. They were gonna try and knife me. Ooh, I got him if freaking throwing knife me. I think that's another three kills without dying, by the way. You know, I think I realized why I was having such a bad time earlier. I was moving around really aggressively, I suppose. Like, I was actually not walking around like an IGN player, which actually works against you. If I wait here, will they come to me? Am I gonna be a bad person and do it? Ow. Ow. Well, I didn't wait for them, but I did end up getting my three kills without dying there. I also ran into a claymore, unfortunately, and that was not a fun time. I don't know how many more three kills without dying I need. All I know is that we are losing miserably. Oh my god, what is that score? There's one kill. There's two kills. This is what I mean. I'm running too much, and that's not a good thing. I gotta walk it out, pace it. And three. Told you. And like that, we unlock gold. Unfortunately, my team is losing so badly. I'm gonna try playing objective. It doesn't seem like they were interested in playing objective at all. Ooh, I just saved that teammate from getting assassinated. <laughs> he just stood there like an NPC. I don't think it registered in his head that he was about to get assassinated. Well, that was game. It was a very, very close game. Yeah, very close game. Ironically, I joined late and played the most objective. Nonetheless, though, we did get gold for the FTAC Siege. Am I going to firing range to check it out? Like, does this look like a pistol to you guys? Because it really does not look like a pistol to me. Like, if you look at this gun, this is a very beefy pistol. Even the X13 autos didn't have this much attachments to make it look like this. I mean, you could make it look like a miniature SMG. If you guys remember when I was doing Orion, I did end up getting it to look like an SMG. And that thing had terrible recoil, by the way. That thing was absolutely awful. This will show you like a lot of recoil if I just shoot. Like it shows a lot of recoil. Like even if I'm trying to shoot for headshots, it's still pretty good. I mean, the fire rate and the time to kill on this thing is pretty good too. Also, if you guys are curious, this is what the recoil pattern looks like if I'm not compensating for it. I mean, you get the point. It basically just goes up into a vertical. So overall though, I do think this is a pretty good pistol if you like something that's a little bit more automatic versus having like the other pistols in the game. Personally speaking, I had a hard time using this. I don't know if it was just because I was really unlucky and getting really bad lobbies, but this was probably the most unenjoyable camo grind I've done thus far. I mean, usually that's the case with snipers, but for some reason, I just did not like this. I'm sure my opinion will change if I end up using this gun more but I wish I could say I had a good time using it and that it was a fun gun to use nonetheless but 
I don't really feel that way about it. I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong, its accuracy is insane, its time to kill is insane, but I just had like the worst experience using it. I just got super unlucky today. More than half the time, I feel like I was just silent today and just like, I really just want to level up this gun. Let me level this gun up and let me be over with it. I don't necessarily feel that way unless I do snipers, and snipers are very hard for me to use, so I don't know, this felt like the same boat for me. Regardless though, I am happy that I do have this to gold now. That means I I am one step closer to getting my DLC guns to Orion. I haven't made a cohesive list on what DLC guns I have left, so I do have to take some time and do that in the future. Regardless though, I do hope you guys enjoyed watching me get the F-Tac Siege to gold today, even though it was a pain in the butt. But with all that being said, I am gonna go ahead and end my video here, so with that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and our evening. Take it easy and peace. Bye! <laughs>